Let's go over the next layer, the insulation. The insulation uh, will create an air chamber to insulate us from the outside elements and keep our body temperature. You will typically use it under the outer layer, which the outer layer will be protecting you from the outside elements, while you build that air chamber on the inside, retaining the maximum amount of heat. We have again two options, synthetic fabrics or natural fabrics like the goose down. The goose down is the lightest, warmest material on earth, since we cannot beat mother nature way of creating micro air chambers in the feathers to retain the body heat. The only drawback from natural feathers is that when they get wet, they stick together and you lose that air volume that it's what it's actually keeping you warm. In order to solve this problem, Kuyu has treated not the garment, but every single feather instead, one by one to make it water resistant. That way, even when exposed to high volumes of water, those feathers will not collapse, retaining the original volume and keeping us warm. It is worth mentioning that the fact that the feathers are waterproof or that the outside fabric of the jacket is water treated with DWR doesn't mean that this is a waterproof jacket since it doesn't have a waterproof membrane. It is more like a safety solution just in case the jacket gets humid by outside water or in the pack or by our own sweat. The most important factor when you look for a down jacket will be the quality of the down, which is typically defined by two, by two things, the field power and the down fe to feather ratio. The field power is the volume X amount of down occupies and the down feather ratio is the amount of feathers for that amount of down. As a reference, Kuyu's field power is 850, which is one of the highest in the industry. I will choose down over synthetic for hands where volume and weight matter. They are incredibly warm to the point that you cannot be active on them. I will carry them always like handy on my backpack and put them on when it sit down for glass or to eat or when I'm around camp. If I need to get back hiking, I will just remove them and put them back on the pack. The volume is ridiculous, so they will always be on my pack no matter the hand. Regarding Kuyu, there are two options, the Ultra Down and the Super Down Pro. Both have the same type of down, but the Pro has twice the amount of down compared to the Ultra. I typically like the Ultra for hands over 0 degrees Celsius and the Pro for hands that go typically below freezing temperatures. I will use the Ultra for spring hunts or for summer, early fall trips, but as soon as we get into late fall or winter, I jump to the Pro Down. I like the Pro better also for international trips since they are typically, it gets pretty cold and I prefer to be in camp with only one layer. The Ultra, you will be able to, to use it also, but you may need to combine a few layers to, be, to feel comfortable at camp. The synthetic option will create that volume with a light synthetic material. For this, Kuyu has the Kinai jacket. The jacket doesn't have any membrane or any coating, so it makes it a super breathable jacket. This piece will be perfect for cold hands where you need to be active since it will keep you warm, but you will be able to hike with it because it's extremely breathable. When you combine it with an outer layer to stop the wind and rain, you will have a bulletproof combination. Also, due to the lack of coating and membrane, it is an extremely quiet piece and probably the one I use the most when bow hunting. Finally, for extremely cold hands, Kuyu has the option that instead of using several layers, having one layer that combines the Kutana hard shell jacket uh, with the Kina insulation on the inside, which is the Gale Force. With this one, layer will protect you in extremely cold conditions like Greenland, the North Pole, etc. And it will be a good option also for long seats in really cold weather. I just hope this gives you guys a rough idea of the whole line and the different options that Kuyu offers and serves as a guideline to go through the website and understand better what to look for. There is plenty of incredible information on the website for you to learn more on each of the specific products and I'm also happy to help anytime. So just have in mind that there are thousands of different ways to combine the products and it's just a matter of a personal preference. You will need to learn how to play with the layers to find which solution will work best for you. It is not mandatory to use layer A, then the layer B and after the layer C. Please let me know your questions and if you like this video I'll try to go over the rest of the line with gloves, 
accessories, backpacks, tents and everything on future videos. And thanks out everyone for watching. Have a great day.